There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy 4 verse 8. This passage was written by the Apostle Paul shortly before he was martyred. He was one of those that love your appearing God. He lived for this crown from you, Lord. It wasn't the favor of men that he sought, but yours, yours alone. And I, I think this sounds wonderful, truly. But I cannot see this crown. I cannot decipher its relevance in my own life. It doesn't make me feel good. Human admiration as much as I hate to admit, but that I can feel. You see, if I get the best grades, end up in the best job, become the smartest, the most admirable, someone others can look up to. I know I promise to live my life for you, Lord. I'm not breaking my promise. I will do this, just not yet. I'm not asking you to leave me, Lord, but maybe just step to the side for a season. Because if I just keep climbing, keep achieving, keep showing this world what I am capable of, if I create my own crown and place it upon my head, I will feel nothing. I still feel nothing. Because the higher I climb, the further the peak of this mountain appears. I am chasing a shadow of human glory. I cannot grasp it. I keep failing and I am exhausted. I am working my hardest, but I no longer know why, you see. For to live this life for myself is starting to become a terribly empty thing. I began this journey with a desire to glorify you. I became selfish. I started seeking to glorify myself. And even at this, I failed. And now I feel directionless, like I am floating through life with no goal. Can you help me, Lord? Forgive me for waiting till my plans of success failed before returning to you. Can we start over again? My daughter, my daughter, I am the Alpha and Omega, first and last. I lay the foundations of the world and all glory is mine even so. When I clothed myself in your flesh and walked upon your world, the only crown I laid on my brow was a crown of thorns, my daughter. Do you understand what it means to pick up your cross and follow me? Have you considered my disciples? These were not the great men of the earth. They were not the admired, the highly regarded, all that you are seeking to be. They were fishermen. They were tax collectors. They were my chosen ones. I sent them into the world to preach about my kingdom. Likewise have I sent you, but your pride blinded you to the importance of the gospel, my daughter. Turn your eyes from all that fadeth away. Look up. Behold, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For on that day, a new name shall I give to you above any title, above any position this world could ever offer. Lift yourself higher than what you see and behold the crown that is laid up for you and not to you only, but unto all them also that love my appearing.